BBC Microbit is a small microcontroller which is being given free to all year seven children in the UK, at least the ones whose schools have signed up to the scheme. And as a teacher of computing, I've now got three of these much delayed devices to play with, although we're still waiting for the units for the rest of the uh, children in year seven to arrive. I really want to use Python with the micro bit and there's an amazing new offline editor called Mew which I strongly recommend. It's free, it's cross-platform and it may even evolve into a complete replacement for Idle. It's also apparently going to be bundled with future releases of Raspbian, the Raspberry Pi OS. It's not quite working properly on our Windows virtual desktops in our ICT room at the moment, but I'm confident that we're going to fix that and I'll be using it quite soon. I made my first simple micro bit game last night. It's all written in Python. The code's on the website. The aim of the game is to tilt the micro bit, colouring in all the dots. If you then fill all 25 pixels, you go to the next level where the ball is a bit faster and harder, control, harder to control. There are 20 levels. I probably ought to change that to 10. Uh, and at the end, if you finish level 20, you're rewarded with a heart logo and a lovely Nyan Cat music to listen to. Um, to hear the music, you just hook up a speaker to pins zero and ground on the micro bit. And then when you finish the game, if you want to play again, you just press the reset button on the back. I think it might be a good starting point for children to tinker with, uh, make the game their own, whether through simply adding images or messages or sounds, or perhaps by adding whole new levels, such as obstacles you've got to avoid or random vanishing pixels. I'm so sure children will come up with much better ideas than I can, which is the joy of this kind of technology. Mm -hmm.